Hi, this is Nicholas Bell with Ion Cinema, here to review Chaos Walking, uh, which is directed by Doug Lyman and is being released courtesy of Lionsgate, uh, March 5th, 2021. Uh, it's based on the uh, YA children's novel uh, by Patrick Ness uh, called The Knife of Never Letting Go. It's the first part of a trilogy, actually. Um, and Ness, who also wrote A Monster Calls, which was made into a film by J.A. Bayona uh, in 2016, also uh, adapted the screenplay alongside Christopher Ford, who wrote things like Cop Car and the horror movie Clown. Um, Lyman's been very busy. He recently uh, premiered Locked Down, starring Anne Hathaway and Chiwetel Ejiofor, uh, set in London during the pandemic. Um, Chaos Walking uh, originally lensed in 2016, 2017 and uh, had extensive reshoots in 2019 uh, and I think that it has all the uh, earmarks of a film that perhaps didn't test well or there are a lot of elements that really didn't work uh, and so a lot of it feels uh, a bit watered down. Um, even for a PG-13 YA novel. Uh, so it's set in the nearish distant future in a, a planet called New World in 2257 AD. Uh, we are introduced to the main character Todd, played by Tom Holland, um, who uh, right away we learn that in this world there are no women, um, apparently due to uh, the native population species releasing a, a bacteria that eradicated all the women and all the men are subject to this thing called the noise wherein all of their internal thoughts are constantly on display audio and in some uh, visual formats that um, are, are visualized as a constant iridescent um, cloud around their heads uh, which sometimes are reminiscent of flashbacks used in something like the dark crystal uh, the town, it's called Prentice Town, uh, which is run by uh, Mads Mikkelsen, who plays the mayor. He has kind of a bumbling, semi-idiot son, uh, Davey, played by Nick Jonas. And Tom Holland has been raised by his father, Ben, Demian Bashir, and his uncle. Uh, and there's also an uh, uh, overzealous religious preacher named Aaron, played by David Oyelowo, who uh, really believes that all women are evil uh, because the women were not subject to the same uh, mechanism of the noise. Uh, a scouting ship uh, from a wave of uh, colonies sent from Earth that took 64 years to get to this area uh, crash lands a pod on this planet. Uh, and the only survivor of that crash is Daisy Ridley playing Viola. Um, the town, Prentice Town, kind of goes crazy over her because many of them have never seen a woman or, or don't like women. Um, and she uh, escapes their clutches, and through the use of, or through the assistance of Todd uh, and the blessings of his father, uh, he uh, absconds with her to the next town over, uh, Fog Ranch, uh, wherein they learn that Prentice Town is a run by men that are lying about everything uh, because the, the mayor of uh, Fog Ranch is Hildy, played by Cynthia Erivo, uh, and um, Todd is carrying around a journal his mother gave him, but he's illiterate, and Viola reads it out loud and we learn that all the women, because they weren't subject to the noise, kind of were less vulnerable than, than the men and thus were eradicated for it. Uh, there's a major showdown in the skeletal remains of the original ship that crash landed on the planet, uh, and uh, we're left off thinking that this is something that would turn into a franchise property. Uh, it was shot by Ben Cerezian, who also shot a lot of big, profile, high-profile studio films like World War Z, uh, The Mummy, uh, Marco Beltrami and Brandon Roberts, also uh, who worked on World War Z, uh, provide the score. Just nothing is very characteristic. Uh, Ridley and Holland are doing what they can with it, uh, although neither of them are very interesting. And the fact that the film, because of the YA parameters and the American parameters, doesn't quite know how to uh, breach the subject of sexuality and kind of the, rea the reality of people's human thoughts about uh, the desires, for instance, is never even attempted to be uh, encountered at all. Um, a lot of cast members are completely feel kind of wasted, uh, including Mad Mickelson, who has this fabulous fur coat that is reminiscent of Warren Beatty's and McCabe and Mrs. Miller. Um, 
David Oyelowo and Demian Bashir were recently in George Clooney's The Midnight Sky, kind of equally wasted in that film. Nick Jonas really has nothing to do, Cynthia Erivo. Uh, it, it really is, if you're a fan of Holland or Ridley, you might like this, uh, but other than that, uh, it, it, it really is a film that just feels like it's passing the time, unfortunately. Uh, and we know Doug Lyman, you know, he, he usually his attempt at science fiction are kind of novel uh, at the level he's working at, such as Edge of Tomorrow uh, with Emily Blunt and Tom Cruise. Uh, even items like American Maid or Mr. and Mrs. Smith kind of have a little more life to them than this does. Um, overall, I would do Chaos Walking, two out of five stars. Thank you. Hey, this is Eric from MyOnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.